okay so um cool so it looks like it all makes sense to you yes yeah okay um well cool do you have any questions or anything like that i mean it sounds like uh you're already like already ready to go yeah, I don't have that much questions. I think when I jump into it, I probably will have many questions. <laughs> okay, great. So, well, shoot, I guess really the only thing that's left to say is welcome aboard. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> okay. Okay, so this is what's going to happen. Um, okay. We're going to do it uh, two ways. Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to send you the link because I'm driving right now. But what I'm going to yeah. do is I'm going to walk you through your first steps. Yeah. So that way, uh, and I'm going to stay on the phone with you because sometimes it gets a little bit confusing. And, uh, you know, yeah. it's probably a good idea that uh, I walk you through. I'm going to hold your hand so that way I can walk you through your first steps, okay? Yeah, that's totally fine. Okay, so are you using a computer or are you using your phone? Um, I'm, on, I'm using a phone right now, but I'm actually heading to an appointment. <laughs> okay, so we can wrap this up in um, like five... Uh, I, I'll tell you what, we can do this like uh, in five minutes. We can just like wrap it up in five minutes and then what I'll do is go do your appointment and then you can call me uh, right after and then I can walk you through your okay. first steps like that if you want. Okay, yeah, that sounds good. Okay, so let's go ahead and head over to your phone. Okay. And then can you be on the internet and on the phone at the same time? No. Okay, good. Because some phones are a little bit weird. They don't do that. So, um, when, when are, you, are you iPhone or Android? I'm on uh, Android. Okay. So, I would say, what, go to Google Chrome? Is that what you use? Yeah. I'm trying to Okay, cool. So, go to, um, let me see if I can, let me see if I can give you the link here. I think this would be a lot easier if I did it like this. Okay, give me one moment. Okay, I'm gonna do this, this. Hold on. How's the weather out there? Oh man, I don't know on the big island it is actually pretty hot. Is that where you're at on the big island? Yep. Okay, so let me tell me when you get this, okay? I just sent you a text right now. Yep, just got it. I'm gonna take my button. Okay, cool. So go ahead and hit that link and then you're gonna see um, the text form let me know when you see it yeah okay and then what I want you to pay attention to this is a lot of the reasons why I stay on the phone uh, with everybody because people can get mixed up here so if you notice right there uh, on the text form you see where it says the red asterisks I mean, when, where yeah. you see the red asterisk. So that's the only information, really, that I need. Okay? okay? And then under the company, do you see where it says company? Let's go ahead and leave that blank. Uh, you might want to call it, I don't know, Starfish Travel or whatever. Uh, okay. But let's go ahead and leave that blank because a lot of times what ends up happening is when people put Starfish Travel, I never know who I'm talking to because it comes out in the back office as starfish travel and I never know who it is right yep. and then when you look at the social security and the date of birth you'll notice that it gives you examples there so yep. like the the social like you want to definitely use hyphens and not and it's great it's funny because you you want to use hyphens for your social but not the forward slashes right and then like you want to use the forward slashes for your date of birth And go ahead and do that and then as you start going down you're gonna notice uh, there's a little section where it has a place to put your password on there uh, make sure yep. that you don't put any special characters 
Otherwise, it prevents it from moving forward. It's a little bit wacky like that. There's one section that says uh, personal web address. Do I just uh, yeah? So un I yeah, under the personal web address. Um, yeah, what do you want to name your website? How exciting is that, right? So just so you know, though, you can change it like a T-shirt. So whenever you come up with something clever later, you could always swap it out. So you can name it kind of like, uh, uh, what was your name? My name is Taxi, but I don't know What is it? Uh, it's okay, you. It's my middle line for the Okay, so we can use like your name and then travel for now if you want. Okay. No, you know what I mean? Yeah. Until you some you know, until you come up with something clever later, then you can just yeah. like, oh, the light bulb goes off and you're like, oh, this is what I can name it. I'll just name it that. Okay, so I kept all of the boxes in the bottom. Yep. I did the boxes, so I'm going to uh, next. And then it should take you to a verification screen, correct? Mm -hmm. If you're on the same page, then there was an error. So if you went to the next verification page, uh, then you did everything right. Hold on. You're coming out muffled. Say that again. I guess the email doesn't match. Um, oh, okay. So let's go ahead and um, make uh, make sure that the emails match. Oh, no. That was a fox. I just saw uh, some roadkill. Looked like, oh, a, no. looked like a fox. matching but it's the one that I have <laughs> oh so let, well the thing is you gotta put the email address in twice yeah I did that but it's not um, it didn't go through for my you, email address you, you know what I do when that happens I just go ahead and delete both parts and I just type it in again type it in again yeah Yay! Welcome aboard. Super excited as you're doing it. Okay, so I got to the verify screening. Okay, go ahead and hit the next button. Make sure everything is spelled correctly and everything. Just hit the, whether you're gonna pick Visa or MasterCard, and then it's obviously the 49. And then uh, as soon as you get that, as soon as you hit the process button, what's gonna happen is you're gonna get an agent ID number. Do me a favor and screenshot that for me. So that way you always have it and you'll never forget it. Do I have to enter the card number twice? No, 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 no. Just one time.
just make sure it's consecutive. The billing address shouldn't uh, matter. Okay. Congrats. Did it say congratulations? Yeah, sign up successful. Congratulations. Awesome. Yay, welcome aboard.